A Valley family says their late mother's estate was swiped out from under them, and they say this can happen to anyone. Morgan Lowe investigates just how this happened and how you can protect the ones you love. By all accounts, Benita Bell led a comfortable life. A son, two daughters, and a home in Buckeye, where she planned to live out the last years of her life. She was never a very trusting person. Um, and as she got older, she tended to trust people less and become more reclusive as her health declined. Kimberly is Benita's daughter. She says in July of last year, her mother passed away of natural causes. But Kimberly and her siblings soon discovered much of Benita's nearly $1 million in assets had disappeared. There were charges being made in like Scottsdale and Avondale and Glendale, and we knew that my mom wasn't traveling to those places. According to Kimberly and Buckeye police, Benita had befriended an insurance agent who began taking care of her finances. And according to bank records and credit card statements, this man spent a lot of Benita's money. The sum total looks like over $500,000. Over how much time? A year and a half. That's a lot of money. It's a lot of money. These cases oftentimes are very complex and become very difficult to investigate. Sergeant Andrew Fletcher from the Buckeye Police Department oversaw the investigation in this case. He says the biggest obstacle was by the time anyone suspected a crime had been committed, Benita was dead. Because she has passed away, we don't know what her wishes were. We don't know if it was her intention to give the money away. We don't know if the money was used for care. And we don't know if the money was stolen. The result is, at this point, there are no criminal charges. When you read that police report, do you see a crime in there? Yes. Fraud against the elderly is a pervasive problem that legal experts say is difficult for authorities to prove and prosecute. The Arizona Attorney General estimates there are as many as 7,000 victims each year in Arizona alone. It's a very challenging situation. And, you know, for family members who can be affected by this, there aren't a lot of really good remedies. Shannon Clark is a private attorney who is not involved in this matter, but he handles cases like these. For every one case you can be successful on, I'd venture to say there's a thousand out there that you can't for whatever reason. He says when the victim is deceased, it's even tougher. It seems like they have to prove the intent of the victim who is now no longer alive. That's right, and you have to show that they did not intend to give this money to the caretaker or the fiduciary or whoever the person is. Kimberly tells us she and her siblings feel defeated. Really what this has taught me is that crime does pay. Buckeye police say they have not given up. It's very frustrating. I think um, not only frustrating for us, frustrating for the family. A lot of man hours go in. We want to produce that resolution. And ultimately in this one, it's extraordinarily frustrating not to be able to offer that to the family. Experts say if you have an aging family member, it's a good idea to have a couple of trusted people look over their finances. And if somebody is going to be paying bills or handling their finances, it's a good idea to put their responsibilities in writing, including any payments, or benefit they may be entitled to. I'm Morgan Lowe for Arizona's Family Investigates. Morgan, thank you.